All right. Hello and welcome back. Um, today we are doing a short and sweet um, vinyasa segment. This um, is kind of meant to accompany either the cardio or the strength work, but it can also stand alone just as probably about a 15 or 20 minute um, uh, vinyasa flow. Okay, so we're gonna start standing at the top of the mat, feet about hip distance apart, and just bring your arms up over your head and press your hands together and bring your hands down by your sides, or I'm sorry, in front of your heart. <laughs> and then open your arms wide and bring your hands back to your heart center. Bring your arms down by your sides, inhale, sweep the arms up and bring your hands down to your heart. Open the arms wide and bring your hands back to your heart. One more time, bring the hands down, sweep the arms up, hands to the heart, open wide and bring the hands back to center. Now bring the arms down and this time sweep the arms out to the sides as you come all the way down into a forward fold. Come down slow and I want you to bend your knees and sway a little bit here from side to side. You can clasp your hands behind your head or you can grab onto your elbows if that feels good. And just what we're doing here is we're taking a second to stretch the whole back side of the body. Now on the inhale, come up halfway and straighten your back like you're trying to take a back bend here. And then as you exhale, fold, and now come all the way up to standing, stretch up, grab your left wrist with your right hand, give it a little pull, and now bend over to the right and really push down through your left foot. So I'm stretching through that whole left side of the body. Breathe into the left side of your body and then come back up, grab your right wrist, give that arm a little pull as you keep the shoulder down and bend over to the left side. So my legs are really strong and active. My navel is pulled in towards the spine. I'm breathing into the right side of my body. Now come all the way back up and separate your feet wide. Turn your knees and your toes out. Bring your hands behind your back and cl either clasp your hands together or you can grab onto a band and do that. But what I want you to do is to get your shoulders back. So you might keep your elbows bent here and you might straighten your arms. Now, I don't want you to lock your elbows back either. So soft elbows, chest open, shoulders back. Now bend your knees and fold forward again with your hands behind your back, tuck the chin. And now I like to kind of sway side to side, twist a little bit, and just really focus on stretching through the front of the shoulders, the chest. Keep breathing. And now come down into a squat, so malasana. So your malasana may look like this, and that's fine. Or you might drop the hips a little lower here. And just Enjoy the stretch through the inner thighs and the front of the hips. And if you'd like, you can add on a twist and twist open to the right. Reach the right arm up and twist to the left. And come back to the middle and just step back into a plank. And we're gonna lower down onto the belly. You can do that from the knees or from the toes. Let's get another pec stretch. So reach your left arm straight out to the left, bend your right knee, roll towards your left arm. Place your foot on the ground behind you. You can use your right hand to support you here, or you can take the arm behind you, or maybe just move it around, circle at the wrist. Send your breath to the left side of your lungs, especially the upper left side of your lungs so that you're creating space around the, the left side of the chest and the front of the shoulder. And then change. So bring your right arm out and roll towards that arm. And do whatever you'd like with the left arm. Remember to stay in your body, stay with your breath. Always focus on what you're doing. And then roll onto the belly. 
Now brace your shoulders, embrace your spine, embrace your hips to push yourself up to your hands and your knees. Now reach, twist to the right, reach your right arm up to the sky. And as you exhale, thread the needle. Reach your right arm through. And you can settle down onto the, the side of the uh, right shoulder. So now I'm stretching more, I'm focusing more um, on behind the right shoulder and the upper back between the shoulder blades. So send your breath there. And then release the twist and switch sides. Twist to the left, twist to the right. Thread the needle. Big, deep breaths. Upper, back, left side of the lungs. Release your twist. And now tuck your toes, send your hips back to your heels for pranam or child's pose with your toes tuck. Really push down through the arms, stretch back through the hips. Now you can certainly stay here. I'm gonna move forward into heart melting pose. So I'm gonna come back up so that my hips now are gonna be stacked over my knees and I'm gonna walk my hands forward. So if you're really tight in your shoulders and in your chest, you might lay a pillow underneath you and let your, your chest rest on a pillow or maybe a bolster. Otherwise, you'll eventually be able to get the chest all the way down on the mat with your chin forward and breathe. Breathe under the arms, through the rib cage, sides of the rib cage. Now bring yourself back up, plant your hands, take a cow pose, and take a cat pose, and come back to neutral, and go back to downward facing dog pose. Stretch through the arms, stretch back through the hips. Now take your right leg and reach it up and back behind you. Open your hip. So lift the hip up, 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 and then stack it on top of your left hip. Look at your left knee. Make sure it's not collapsing in. And now you can bend that knee. You can circle the foot, circle the hip. Good. Now extend the leg back behind you again and step your foot forward. You might use your right hand to help you get it up there. Bring your back knee down to the mat and come up for a low lunge. Now we're gonna get into that hip flexor front of the thigh. So tailbone down, belly up and in, send the hips forward. Your knee can go forward past your toes because you have the support of the back knee down. Okay, you might squeeze your left glute a little bit here. You might bring your hands behind your head, interlace the fingers, open the elbows up really wide and get a nice deep stretch through the chest and the shoulders here as well. Breathe. Now I'm gonna push into my right foot, lift the hips back up, and now sit back into Ardha Hana Manasana or half splits. So I'm gonna make sure that my right knee doesn't lock and the thigh doesn't get soft. So I'm actively pulling my right heel in towards my body. Breathe. Now come back to that lunge. Pick up the back knee. Turn to the left for a side lunge. So now I'm going to work on lengthening through that left inner thigh. I might go down lower for Skandasana. Look at that left knee. Again, it's going to want to, it might want to lock. So keep a softness to it. Energetically pull the heel back. You can add 
a reach here if you'd like to. Do that whole left side. And then from here, I'm just gonna turn and face the front of the mat again and go back into my down dog. Just take a couple breaths here. You can certainly reach that right leg back again if you want, shake it out. Breathe in, breathe out. And now stretch back through your left leg. Open, lift the left hip up and then stack it. So hug your outer right hip in, check that back knee, make sure it's not collapsing inward towards the big toe. Move your left foot, your left leg around as it feels good to help you really open up that hip. Keep your arms strong, shoulders stable. And now bring your leg back behind you and bring it all the way forward. No rush. Bring your back knee down. You can bring your hands up to your thigh and come up for your low lunge. Okay, so hips are level, hips are square. And go ahead and bend the knee. So we're not just collapsing forward. We've got action in the hips. You're squeezing your right glute a bit. Tailbone down, belly up and in. Hands can go behind the head again, interlace the opposite way. Push the thigh, opening up that whole front side. And then push into your left foot. We're gonna go up and back into Skandasana. So last time on that other side, I tucked my toes. I like doing it that way. You can also lay your foot flat here as well as you go back, half splits. Energetically pulling the left heel in. Breathe. Come back to your lunge, pick up the back knee. This time I'll turn to the right for my side lunge. So you might stay here, you might lift the right toes, bend the left knee deeper, skandasana. Again, face forward, downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. Come all the way up to standing slowly. Arms over hook. And bring your hands down to your heart center. Okay. So we're gonna do two standing balancing postures. Okay, so you can go over to a wall if you want to. Right hand on a wall if you want, step into your right foot. I'm gonna bend my left knee. Couple of ways of doing this. I can grab onto the outside of the foot. That's fine. If you're gonna do that, make sure that left shoulder goes back and down. Okay, you can hold here. You can also grab onto the inside of the foot. That's gonna really help my left shoulder move back and down. Now, to make sure I'm working on lengthening through the hip flexor and the quad, I'm gonna pull my belly in, tailbone down. You can also take this into dancer's pose or standing bow if you're feeling it. Breathe, kick, wherever you are is perfect. Focus on what you're doing and then change. So step into the left foot, maybe put your left hand on the wall, grab outside, right shoulder back or inside, knees together, and you might stay here. That might be enough intensity for you. Left arm can go up and you can kick. Dancer's pose, standing bow, breathe. And then gently release the foot. Okay, the next one is a standing outer hip stretch. So just cross your left ankle over your right thigh, put one hand on top of the other and sit back into your chair. Okay, so this is kind of like pigeon pose, but standing and balancing. 
Again, you can be putting your hand on a wall somewhere. You can go down lower. I'm not gonna go lower. This is kind of my injured hip. So I'm not gonna go down as low, but you can go down lower and put your hands down on the ground. Breathe. And then slowly come back up and do that on the other side. Sit the hips back. Again, your hands can come down lower if you want to intensify that stretch. And then come on up, arms overhead, dive forward, lengthen, down dog. Come to the knees, sit back, Heels, sit off to one side, and scoot down. Roll down onto your back, hug your knees up into your chest. Get a little IT bend, stretch here. Keep holding onto your right knee. Take the leg up towards the sky. Keep your right hip down, whichever with your left hand, and start pulling your leg across to the left but don't let the right hip come up. So you'll probably, it, it helps to put your right hand on your right hip and kind of pin it down. You should feel that down the outside of the leg. And then you can take that all the way across the body into a spinal twist. And then release and hug the left knee in. Take the left leg up, so put your left hand on your left hip, reach across with your right hand, pin that left hip down as you pull. So that leg's not gonna go very far. Hopefully you feel that in the IT band, left outer hip, thigh, I feel it all the way down in my ankle, and then take it across. Spinal twist. Hug both knees in again. Take a happy baby pose. And then release. Shavasana. Extend the arms and the legs out. Position yourself so that your body's still in good alignment. The hips feel open, the heart feels open. The back of the neck feels long. Let yourself be still, just for a few more moments. Begin to deepen your breath.
gently start to move your body again. Roll yourself to your side. Keep your head down. You might keep your eyes closed as you bring yourself up to a comfortable seat. Bring your hands together at your heart center and bow your head in honor of yourself, in honor of your practice, and in honor of one another. Namaste.